When you think about Lucasm, you might think about certain things, the pre-generation, second body, Daniel Park, or even martial arts. But one thing we all think about a lot is the four major crews, a system put by Charles Troy and the 10 geniuses which created the second generation. These four crews consisted of Big Deal, Hostel, Workers and God Dog. Four groups, gangs and even organisations that fight each other to keep the balance of power set and seal along with granting Charles Troy some pocket money. However, Charles Troy gave them a bit too much power and they became greater what they were supposed to be. Each crew heads of these groups become an absolute unit and continue to be. In this video, I'll be ranking the crew heads based on who the strongest is out of the four. By the way, Eugene isn't in the video because it's coming now. We all know it's Samuel. How are you telling me this nerd is going to be the fourth crew head and not Samuel Sayo, bro? Just make it make sense. Anyways, let's go on with the video. Now, the weakest of the four major crews indeed is Samuel Sayo. Now, honestly, it's not by a long mile. It's actually pretty interchangeable with the third strongest crew head. Samuel Sayo's fighting style is literally screw it, I have hands, so I might as well use them. Basically, going all caveman and literally doing whatever he can to win. He has a tough body that's hard to damage and the guy is sick in the head along with having daddy issues. But hey, I mean if I had daddy issues I'd rather be Samuel Sayo than dye my hair and spend all time on Discord. Anyways, Samuel Sayo defeated all other crew heads apart from Eli Jang in the past but now he's been surpassed but not by a lot. Only because he hasn't trained as much as the other crew heads or has the same amount of plot armor so I put him as a fourth strongest. Number 3 we've got Eli Jang, the homeless kid who idolizes Vin Diesel. Now Eli Jang can honestly be the second strongest as well but I'd put him here just because the second strongest of this is like an end of uh, series top tier so yeah. Eli is stronger than Samuel however only because he was raised by Tom Lee and spent most of his time in like what the past two or three arcs training even becoming to the point where he was stated to become the king of the second generation. Now personally this spot belongs to Eli perfectly. But yeah, moving on to the second strongest crew head however, we've got, you know, the one, the only, Jake Kim. Now to be honest, his dad is Gabriel Kim, so he could even be the strongest, but I doubt he'd be the strongest. Um, but maybe in the next few arcs he could, but yeah. Jake Kim has the most potential out of all the other crew heads, just because he comes from the lineage of the strongest character in the verse, and just with a bit of his plot armor, he'd want to have anybody. But currently, even that plot armor isn't stopping the first on the list. Now honestly, who else am I talking about? Johan Seung bro. Johan Seung defeated Eli Jang in the third failure arc and I know that was a long time ago but the same way that Eli Jang got stronger, Johan got way stronger as well. Now having CQC and the copied UI mode, along with the fact that he can copy everybody's moves, it's not really that hard to see why Johan is the strongest out of the four. Now some may argue that Eli Jang would be the strongest because you know he fought Basement Hulk but to be honest it was perfectly fine since he let Vasco beat him by choice and there's no way he didn't hold back against Vasco. Even when like Basement Hulk came, bro, Eli just got up like it was nothing. No downplay to him however, he's still an absolute powerhouse and his feats are honestly that like, pretty impressive. But they're nothing compared to like Jake Kim's plot armor or Johan's correct abilities. But yeah, now this list was honestly my opinion. If you believe Sam was the strongest, believe that. If you believe Jake Kim was the strongest, you can believe that too. Really, it's up to PTJ. But personally, I believe this is how the list would be. And it makes the most sense and it's pretty accurate to me. Anyways, that's the end of the video. But hey, I just want to say thank you for the support you guys have been showing me. I look forward to making more videos. Honestly, I'm so sad that I couldn't make um, videos at all before because I was really busy. But yeah, please just do you know that I'm going to be back with more bangers. So hey, keep, keep subscribing, man. So yeah, um, see you guys.